This is an open D sharp major scale. Okay, um, it's a double octave. So I'm alternating my picking by I'm down, up. So try to play that. But if you're new and you still want to use just out down picks, that's okay. But eventually try to, try to alternate your picking using a down up picking pattern. So I'm gonna show you what my left hand looks like up close. And I'm starting on the um, first fret of the fourth string. So I'm gonna play it again, okay? So it covers, you know, the first um, 11 frets of the guitar neck, starting on the fourth string. First fret, use your first and third fingers on the first and third frets of the fourth string. Then go to the third string, open, and the first and third frets with your first and third fingers, okay, on the third string. So it's... Now we're gonna go up here, okay? This is a little unorthodox, but it's pretty good in the long run. It gives you the, the ability to develop skill up and down the guitar neck. Here we go again. Now I'm on the third string, fifth fret with my first finger. Play the seventh fret with the third finger on the third string. Eighth fret with the fourth finger. And then we're gonna use the exact same finger picking pattern, but we're moving up to the sixth fret on the second string. One, three, four, six, eight, nine, ninth frets. And then we're gonna play the sixth, eighth, 10th frets with the first, third, and fourth fingers on the first string, sliding up to the 11th fret. D sharp major. All right. It's got one open note, note to it, but it's, it's a different way of playing this scale. familiar with that. Also some of you are probably familiar with the, the major up and across. So I'm playing a D sharp major to a B flat, an F. See what? So if I'm playing this scale, and I want to start over here on the 5th fret, at the 6th fret like I was before, so on the 5th fret of the 3rd string, I can use that 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, that's 6 of the notes right there, 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, so it's, I think it's advantageous to be playing the scale this way. You know, you can start right over here on the first fret of the fourth string. But nobody says that you have to start on, if we're on a D sharp major scale, okay? We're on a major scale. That means that the third and the fourth and the seventh and the eighth notes are the, are the half steps, as opposed to a minor scale, which is the second and third notes and fifth and sixth notes in the scale. I have a video that explains that more, the difference between a major and minor scale. But if nobody says you have to start on the D sharp, if you're on a, if you're on a D sharp, uh, if, if you're playing in the key of D sharp and, and um, you want to lay down a lead to uh, a song that's in the D sharp major, okay? You, you can start on a different note, all right? I mean, uh, here, I'm starting on the C note and that works. Okay, um, once again, it's the one, three, four, moving, that's on the third string, fifth, seventh, and eighth frets. Now I'm moving up to the second string, six, 
eighth and ninth frets. Now I'm on the sixth and tenth frets, sixth, eighth, and tenth frets on the first string, moving up to the eleventh fret. And it's just just a great way of playing it. You know, as opposed to playing using your second, fourth, first, second, fourth, first, third, and fourth fingers on that scale or this scale. <laughs> this one, okay. Yes. So this is a different option as opposed to playing that major up and across scale, which is just playing five different notes. And this scale, which is here it is again, you're playing seven different notes. It's a double octave scale, D e sharp major. a B flat just one example of a, of a progression to the F putting a major scale on there it works a major scale can work pretty well no, they used to say that major scales were only meant for country music. You can still use them on country music, but you can use them in, in the blues, rock, rock and roll. Very versatile here. So this is a quicker video today. Open D sharp major. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so you can take a screenshot of that. You got the fingering. All right. The tablature start on the fourth string with the fingering as well. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Keep playing and have fun.